Hello to all the beautiful Twin Flames joining us on this Twin Flame Divine Feminine Energy reading. As always, welcome to our channel where we delve into the mystical realm of the Twin Flame journey. I am Laurentiu, a Master Certified Ascension Coach and your guide for today's energy reading. Don't forget to subscribe to keep in touch for more readings. In today's reading, we start with the message of like, God is your source. God is the one who gives you everything. I feel like it really continues with the last reading that I've done about just, you know, you recognizing that God is your source, that God is the love that you're seeking here. And that means that, you know, God can come through your divine masculine to give you that love. So you don't go to your divine masculine to get the love that you want. You go to God to get the love that you desire from your divine masculine. That's the right order. And I feel like this is going to be a change in the way you operate, the change in how you have felt or how you've acted or how you thought things work. Because right now, like, it feels like some of you may hold a little bit onto that and know, like, I need to receive from him. He has to do this. He has to do that. And by holding onto that, well, what are you holding onto? Onto not receiving. Then what are you going to receive by holding onto that? Well, nothing, because you're focusing on what you don't want. So, if you are in that space, just know that's okay. It's safe that that's what you're experiencing, but it's safe to let go of that way of being, unless you want more nothing. If you want more nothing, sure, go ahead. It's your choice. But I would invite you to not do that, because you don't. I don't think you want no results. I think you want a result here. The result is love. You want the result of love, you have to focus on love, not on not love. Therefore, that's going to be a shift within yourself, a shift on how you act, how you are, and just how you love. So, uh, as you do that, like, if it comes up, you know, guilt or like shame or anything like that, it's safe to let it go. Those things will stop you from receiving. So, it's okay to let go of that, no matter what happened in the past, no matter if you're doing what we were discussing earlier or not, the point is not to beat yourself up, you know, because of that. The point of that is to recognize that pattern so you can let it go and change and heal so you can receive. And this way, it's safe for you to receive, it's safe for you to receive love and go deeper in your love. That's going to help you a lot more and you know, without guilt, you have nothing that stops that love to come in. That's why guilt and shame never helps. Whenever you have that, don't try to understand them. Just let them go. Let them go right now. Not of any help in any single way. So, safe to receive. And it feels like some of you might be a bit um, feeling like they don't deserve them to receive. The next thing that seems to be coming up, well, just know that when it comes to deserving to receive, you are always deserving to receive. Why are you always, you know, deserving to receive? Well, because you're a divine child of God. So stop putting yourself down. Stop seeing yourself as a unperfect soul or an impure soul. Yes, you have upsets. Yes, you're still moving through things. That doesn't change the nature of your existence. That is a divine existence. So, always remember when you get to this point of like, oh, I feel undeserving, I feel bad about myself. Remember that you are divine and you deserve love. Now, don't fall into the other extreme because I feel like some might be actually the other day extreme. I deserve love, I deserve to be treated right, and others should treat me right. If you go into that extreme, like, others should treat me right, that just that sentence itself has a lot of arrogance in it. <laughs> because others should not treat you in any way. You should treat you nice, and if others don't treat you nice, uh, that doesn't mean they have to change, it's only if they choose to change, because you cannot force others to change. Also, you know, with your twin flame, or, for example, well, my twin flame should uh, love me, and he should change to love, to give me all the stuff for the divine feminines 
uh, even for the divine masculine, the same thing, you know, like, for example, divine masculine is like, oh, she should understand that I need to be loved in this way, she should love me in this way. Well, no, that's not how it works. So that's where, you know, like you, that's arrogance, actually, because you want your twin flame to give you the love that you're not giving to yourself. And if you're going to say right now, <laughs> Some of you might be, I feel like some of you are like, but I'm giving that love to myself. Well, if your turn frame is not giving that to you, that means you're not giving that to yourself. Why? Because unless you give it to yourself, your turn frame won't give it to you. So, give an example from my life, for example, with my turn frame, Alexandra. When, if I don't give myself the love that I want and I seek from her, or want to do an activity with her, to play something with her, and I don't give that to myself first with my relationship with God, she won't do that. And I could try and try and make her do, uh, try to guilt her into doing that. But is that worth it? Is that loving? No. Like, it's it's not fun. It's not nice. And I'm not doing that. And it's not going to work. It's not going to be eternal. Next time when we want to play afterwards, it's going to be like, I don't want to play with you because you're going to guilt me into playing. And that's not a solution. That's not a long-term solution. And the real solution here is to invite with love. You see how you feel about it, and you give yourself that love. Simple. Do the mirror exercise if it bothers you. You know, said my twin friend that doesn't want to uh, give me love in this way. Good. I'm sad with myself that I don't want to give myself love in this way. Mm -hmm. Now, if you stop there and you believe, no, but I am giving myself love in that way, no, you don't. Stop fooling yourself. I'm saying it in this, this way because I, I can feel um, there is this energy of like, uh, not all of you, some of you might be like this, of like, oh, but I'm doing, he's not doing, he's not doing, he's the one, he's the problem. If you are like that, you're stuck. You cannot move forward because you fail to acknowledge the problems that you have. But for those who are not there and they're like, okay, yeah, I can see, I can see that and I can see what I'm not loving myself in the way that I want to love me. Then you can move forward and heal this. And you can actually manifest your doing from doing that in a relationship with you. So, that's just the uh, extreme. Don't go into the extreme. Remain humble. And that will help you move into the next piece of like just understand the, um, the things that you are uh, receiving and just question, is this out of love or not? Even your thoughts, you know, like, okay, is this thought out of love or not? If it's not out of love, don't entertain it. Just say no to it, move on. If it's out of love, you can receive it. So that seems to be like uh, something to work through. To just like, okay, after you work through deservingness, you see that um, because before you just received stuff just to receive them because you weren't receiving anything, now you see that your standard has grown. And you have a better standard for what you receive. So that's uh, the next thing that came up and the next thing that you're working on. Knowing that's okay to have a high standard for what you receive. To receive only love. So remember here, um, now it's time for you to have words of abundance of, of yourself. Words of uh, compassion and just like acceptance and just loving words towards yourself to help you get out of this state, to get you out of that pattern. And whenever you need to, you can ask for support from God. You can go to God and God, please teach me how to love myself. Please teach me how to be nice to myself. Please teach me how to be myself fully and completely. And keep doing that. Allow yourself to always go back to God in order to learn and heal completely. This is the reading for today. Thank you for joining me in this reading. If you found this reading enlightening, don't forget to comment and subscribe to our channel for more content like this. And I wish you many blessings on your journey towards your harmonious true flame union.